Hello, Fear the Meerkat here. Now, I know that um, I didn't exactly make it. Uh, you know the intro by now. Uh, anyway, I know I didn't exactly make it clear in the last episode what graves um, I got uh, things out of, dug things out of. I do say sometimes they might be famous along, along with me on this. The reason for this is I cut out a lot of my uh, fighting from the last episode because, well, it was a bit boring really to watch uh, while I was editing it and quite long as well. So I know I haven't given you a lot of clues as to where to look here. Uh, the best thing I can suggest is that you just look around the graveyard and uh, the word, the um, a symbol of the uh, spade will come up when you can dig under that grave and when you can't dig under the grave then nothing will come up. So under uh, insert on the left side of the screen as you can helpfully see, if there's something to dig up in the graveyard, then the spade will appear there. And just look around yourself, uh, probably just after you've opened the demon door, but before you come in here, would be the best bet, because that's when there'll be the smallest number of creatures, I reckon. And dead uh, things. And um, this is the wrong way. Sorry, I'm obviously a bit confused right now. Well, this is always a great time to play a computer game when you're confused and unsure of what you're doing. But we want to head in here. And that's the next lesson. Where's the Scarlet, who again needs my help? Fair enough. Uh, just to show you where she is on the mini map. I suspect there'll be more creatures here. Um, I hope that water or whatever it is doesn't hurt. But I don't think this is the sort of game where that happens. You know. Uh, I've adjusted the brightness a little bit more because, well, this is quite dark, isn't it? So hopefully, it won't be it won't affect the daytime scenes too much and will help with the nighttime scenes. So. Ah, yes, I thought there might be more. Of that. I'm probably gonna show off more of the fighting on this one because I don't expect this episode to be as long. Ah, these ones can disappear and reappear anywhere. Try to get your combat multiplier even higher. Well, as far as I can tell, they can do that. I wonder if they respawn. The whole respawning thing with the undead is really irritating. Uh, I'll attack them as I find them, okay? And then, if one appears behind me, it can fall me. Or whatever. And there might have been a couple of tattoos I managed to get that I didn't show off in the last episode, so... Now, as far as I know, these things are particularly vulnerable to fire. 
If not, it is a spell that can destroy many things at once. As long as they're quite close to you, so... I take it that we can't get through any of these entrances until we've uh, killed enough of them. Don't worry about that one, you will get attacked soon. Oh, I wish I hadn't done that. I wish, I wish I hadn't killed that fish. I know there's no fish here. I just want to try. Now, I don't trust that thing over there. I do that. <laughs> now I could simply open these and then leave. I really won't mind doing that, to be honest. I hope the fairies just enjoy what they do. I hope they enjoy torturing people. That's my theory. I mean, they do seem to laugh quite a lot when they, um, when they manage to hurt people, so... I know, it's, it's, I might cut out trouble in time. I do know that it's not particularly fun for you to watch this. Me just running and not really doing anything else. I'm going to fight these for a little while for experience points. Alright, enough of this. Nah, I'm, I'm not doing that with you. I'm pretty certain that you'll disappear fairly soon. So, apart from the fairy who might actually call me. Yes, I, I think the fairy might actually call me. So I will have to defeat it. Okay, that's not really useful to me anymore, but... certain things, like zombies, the undead, if you prefer, I would rather avoid because I simply see no point in trying to defeat them. I'm also quite annoyed that you only seem to be able to get augmentations in these uh, chests now. I'm just not interested in having more augmentations because the weapons I have now already have as many as they're going to have. Look, you guys were fun for a little while, whilst I could strike you from far away. I will give you that, but you're not fun now. Since you're not fun now, I don't really see the point. Uh, 
Okay, I'm going to have to defeat these. Fair enough. See, I don't mind ones like this that actually need to be defeated. You know, that's cool, that's fine. It's just the ones that don't need to be. Or even the ones that don't need to be. If they don't respawn, again, fine, cool, just... Get sick of them. I need to find out if there's a better... Uh, Thing I can get other than this axe. See, they're also quite enjoyable to fight when you have this many of them because then no matter where your axe swings, you don't have uh, you don't have to worry about hitting something. You'll hit something. And uh, the reason I like that is that everything I do, I suppose, seems like it was actually worth doing. I suppose, as well, there's a certain bloodthirstiness, I guess, about it too, about my enjoying it like this. I like it when the blade of my character actually connects with something and destroys that something. And whilst I don't think that computer games encourage violence, in fact I know they don't, there have been dozens and dozens of very far-reaching studies uh, on a large number of people that have shown that they don't. Still, I do think as something to sort of relieve the tension of my day, I do prefer to damage something that doesn't really get damaged and is fake, rather than, say, going out and actually hurting someone, which is probably not something I would do anyway, but... You know that I'm not moving any closer to that graveyard. What's that noise? Someone there? Oh, okay, great. How would you get down there? Kill some guards. Well, these are probably treacherous guards. Who shouldn't be here? I mean, they are. They do have the red thing around them, which generally indicates you're not going to get evil points for this the size of it, so don't seem to be interested in negotiating. But yes, I feel that uh, computer games actually discourage people from hurting other people, because it allows them to... it allows players to relieve tension without having to hurt anything that's real. So I don't know why they would make you want to go out and hurt something that is real. That's a question I could ask you. Alright, I will ask you. How did you get down here? Actually, there might not be guards. There might be bandits. It is possible. They do look a bit like guards, but they do look a bit like bandits as well. So. My question really is, actually, how do they get through here? down here, because without uh, getting the Gravekeeper's stuff um, for him, I don't really see how they would be capable of uh, getting here. That's the only way into the graveyard, so... Well, guess what? I have an arrow too. So you probably won't have that much money if you had a guard salary. I'm sure going this way will reveal more things for me to fight, but never mind. 
Stop, Come on, reveal yourself to evil. Good. Right. Alright. Doesn't matter to me that much where I just. with what weapon I destroy you. I'd much rather be fighting you than the undead because you don't endlessly respawn. Uh, I don't know why they have that sort of purple thing around them which suggests that you can't kill them until you get close to them. I suppose if they are guards you have to assume until they start getting hostile that they are uh, guards. Well, uh, I don't know if doing that gave me any points or not, but um, I I reckon those guards are probably evil, and they probably got those things. I got here the um the completely legal way by finding Nostro's armor. Stop asking me that, for that's sake. Oh, right, do you want me to show you a map? As I'm slashing you with my sword. My sword will draw a map in the air. What? How do you expect me to answer this question? Oh, I... There must be some sort of glitch in has where it does that to me. Mother was right. Stop, right? It's that bloody hero. Ah, I think I'm beginning to get the picture here. It's entirely possible that they've got some sort of uh, stuff they've obtained illegally, which they intend to sell in these barrels. That certainly is a possibility anyway. Terrible, just terrible. Almost as bad as indiscriminately destroying said barrels and taking whatever I find in them. Alright, I suppose I could see if the steel container uh, hurts people more than the great axe. Frankly, I doubt it, but. Ah! The obsidian great sword does appear to um, give me more let's try this for a bit because that's heavy that's probably a good thing I believe I silver augmented this when I was fighting the Balverine. About it, isn't he? I told you. Touch me again, and I'll wring your neck. Oh, sorry. Wait. I know you. No, it's a trick. You're not my son. The bastard's playing with my head. But it... It really is you, isn't it? What the hell were you thinking coming here? Don't you see he'll take us both? Never mind. We've got to get out of here. Get this damn cage open. 
Okay, obviously I have made a bit of a mistake. Uh, I thought that Rose was the uh, other hero who was trying to um, stop that the minions from uh, summoning that whatever it was they were summoning. I think I even mentioned uh, her name in uh, in one of the videos, and it turns out that Rose is. Uh, the hero's mum. So, okay. I but all right. It's not far now, but we must hurry. Uh, no, it's not in there. There's probably something helpful in there, but um. Oh no, you don't! Alright, please stay there. Okay, but you are going to die horribly, and then I will fail this mission and have to go through all the stuff again. Ah, uh, it's, it's a long way now. If, if we have to go through the same, all the way through the graveyard, it's a flippin' long way. to lead without saying goodbye. Bastard! This child of yours is quite the hero, dear Scarlet. Did you know he's being crowned Arena Champion? You would have been so proud of him. It must run in the family. That and getting locked up in one of my charming little cells. You disgusting freak. Let him go. He doesn't know anything. Oh, I think you'll find he knows a great deal. You see, the arena seal I gave him has been showing me his every movement. It has been most entertaining. Picking up graves, saving old fools, meeting with that crazy sister of his. Teresa? Yes, it appears your darling little daughter is alive too. She's told him all about the sword, and that wretched bloodline of yours. And now, my sweet, you're going to tell me where the key is. Oh, it's going to be so easy protecting her from these minions, isn't it? 